when that they were going to spontaneously combust in, in certain pockets, not the entire package certainly, but but if you if you've got the 500,000, 600,000 people who have been in the area, they had to let their attention go somewhere, and they elected to let it go in that particular area. What police obviously are hoping to do is a they can get it to stop. But right now, while it hasn't gotten worse, it's gotten slightly better. It is still a situation they're worrying about. Here's Tim Thomas, the Bruin Gold Center, has been spectacular in the playoffs. Here's Timmy. Throughout your whole career, you've always had to prove yourself time and time again. Do you think you've done that now? Uh, for now, I, I know the game, and uh, I I know the way that it is. And uh, you know, winning the Stanley Cup is is huge. It's the biggest uh, accomplishment in my career thus far. But everybody knows in this game that you have to continuously prove yourself. So. I'm sure if I were to, for example, start out the season bad next year, that I probably with the cup would have bought myself a little bit of leeway, but it won't last forever unless I turn my game around. <laughs> my friend, I think you talked a little bit about visualization. When you were in some soggy locker room in Olu or Malmo or somewhere in the Nordic country, did you uh, visualize yourself here? No, at that time I was... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I was probably just visualizing uh, each game one at a time there when I was in Finland. I didn't want to think about the NHL because it just seemed like it was so far away. And, uh, um, you know, but I, having said that, I was happy playing where I was playing. I was playing in a good league, a very good league, uh, and I had a lot of good friends over there. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm very happy that I made the decision to come back. It was a tough decision at the time, um, but it, it paid off in, in, in the long run in this case. But having said that, I would have been happy playing my whole career over there if, if, me, if me would have been. It didn't make any sense. Tim, uh, after Bergeron's first goal, what's going through your head just knowing that if you shut him out from there that you've won the cup, and how did that grow with each passing goal? Well, I was hoping someone else scored, so I wouldn't have to shut him out. <laughs> no, I was very happy, but, you know, going into the uh, going into the game, we talked about not getting too high. You know, if we do score, you know, don't you can't act like you won the Stanley Cup because you get the emotional high and it'll end up showing on the ice. So um, I was just trying to stay level. That was one one goal. It was a big. It was a huge goal. It was the game-winning goal. But uh, at that time, there was still a lot of game and a lot of work left to do. And obviously, Patrice, so questions for Tim and Patrice, please address your question. Tim, Brian McGuire of Boston Sports back home. Uh, do you have a message for the fans who've uh, been waiting a long time for this? <laughs> You've been waiting a long time, but you got it. You wanted it, you got it. We're bringing it home. Right? A lot of times, goaltending is about streaks and confidence, and it comes and it goes at times. Was, it, was there ever a point in this finals you were so dominating that you, you worried at all about maybe, you know, losing a little bit of it? Yeah. Uh, to be completely honest with you, uh, game six at home, right off the opening pace off there, the guy that whacked it backhand from outside the blue line right off the opening face off and I just lost it. You know, it was up in the air and I I just went into full panic mode in my mind. And uh, and then Vancouver put the pressure on and waved the puck around the crease and four or five different times, shot just wide and, and uh, I was on my heels there for a second. That was the first time that I'd really gotten nervous during the uh, finals. And uh, so yeah, I was I was scared. Uh, I, I will I won't lie that there were I had nerves yesterday and today I uh, faked it as well as I could and, uh, and I faked my way all the way to the Stanley Cup. Uh, I took the book you guys. Um, you talk about kind of changing the guard with the burden, obviously the Yankees last game and the monster game from Marshall and the saving contribution and you know, kind of the past and future of the team here. Yeah, obviously uh, <coughs> you want to talk to our ex-last fans and uh, I was kind of nervous and uh, asked him to Give some advice and uh, he told me just to relax and go out there and play your game and what to do for him. Honestly, uh, I could be his last game and uh, what, you know, I've learned so much from him uh, when I'm off the ice that, uh, you know, it, it's an amazing feeling that uh, we've done and we've accomplished this as a team and uh, you're right, I mean, the future looks looks bright with, uh, with all the guys that we have, but uh, to be honest with you, I'm worried about uh, the celebration right now. <laughs> Patricia, 
Uh, um, first goal, um, 